Today we're going to dive deep into our Lemon Labs and its mind-blowing voice creation and voice cloning capabilities. If you're ready to take a content game to the next level, then you're at the right place. So let's get right into it. So here we are in the Eleven Labs. If you haven't heard about it yet, Eleven Labs is a platform that allows you to create AI voices and also to clone voices with incredible accuracy. Whether you are a content creator or someone just loves experimenting with new tech, this is definitely a game changer. So first thing first, let's take a quick tour of the interface. So once you are signed in, this is what you should be able to see. So the first tab that you'll see here on the top will be the speech synthesis. This is where you can generate voiceovers. You basically have two main options. One is the text to speech, which is when you can just type in a text and you will be able to generate a voice reading that text. The second option is speech to speech, which is when you can upload an audio file and then you can convert that audio file into a different voice of your choosing. And we'll go over in details later in the video. Next one is the projects tab. This is to create very long form content. It basically allows you to upload, let's say a full book or a super long document, and you can even import a whole web page via a URL. And the AI can generate a voiceover narration for the entire file. Next tab that we have dubbing. So dubbing lets you translate your file in different languages of your audio. Next tab, we have the voice lab. So in voice lab is where you can add a voice or you can clone your own voice. Voice library is where you can discover all types of different voices from the community. History tab shows your activity and the resources tab provides you all the help that you need to navigate the software. Next, let's talk about how to actually use Eleven Labs. So there are basically four options and to break it down simple for you. The first one is pre-made voices. These are basically high quality, free to use voices that are suitable for most use cases. You can just find them inside Eleven Labs and I'll show you exactly where. The second one is to use generated voices. You can basically create a custom voice based on the preferred gender, age, and accent options. Next one, we have instant cloned voice. This lets you clone your own voice in just a few minutes. You need only one to two minutes of recording of your own voice and you'll be able to do that. The last option is to use professionally cloned voices. This lets you create a nearly perfect clone of your own voice. And to get a perfect clone, you need to provide at least three hours of your own voice recording. So next, let's show you exactly how to use each one. So this is the option number one, pre-made voices. And you scroll down and you'll be able to find all the different voices. And here is where you can see the name. This is where you can see the description of each voice. And you can also listen to the sample. And uh, let's listen to a couple ones just so you can have an idea. Everyone thinks of changing the world, but no one thinks of changing himself. Okay, and let's listen to this one. The biggest room in the world is room for improvement. So let's say you find the one that you like. All you got to do to use it is to add to voice lab, give it a name, or you could just use the one that's given, add voice, finish. And when you come to the voice lab tab, this is where you would find what you added. And to use it, you just got to press use and you can come down here, type in a text, scroll down, click generate. This is how to use pre-made voices. So that's how you generate the audio with the pre-made voices. Okay, so next I'll show you the option number two, which is the generated voices, which is also called voice design. So you will want to come to voice lab and you will want to click on add generated or cloned voice. The first option should be voice design. So this is where you can design entirely new voices by adjusting their parameters. Every voice you create is randomly generated and is entirely unique, even if the same settings are applied. So you click on this. So this is where you can select the decide gender age and also accent so let's go with male young and let's go with an american accent so accent strength we could leave it at default at 150 and we'll type in the text in and then after you're done click generate oh you have to enter a text of at least a hundred characters okay Okay, so that's our minimum characters and click generate. This is how you use generated voices, also known as voice design. It is easy to use and the result is amazing. So let's say you're satisfied with it. You can just use voice and you can give this a name and click on create voice. And there we have the voice in here. And whenever you want to use that voice, you can just click use. And this will take you to the speech synthesis page. And this is where you can create the audio using the specific voice. So if you want to use a different voice, you can just click on this. And this is where you'll see uh, all the different voices that you have created or added to your voice lab. 
Next, I'll go through the third option, which is the insert tone voice. So what you want to do is come back to Voice Lab, click on this, and come to Add Generated or Cloned Voice. It should be the option right here, Instant Voice Cloning. Clone a voice from a clean sample recording. Sample should contain one speaker and be over one minute long and not contain background noise. So click on this so you can give your voice a name. So here's where you can upload either audio or video files up to 10 megabytes each. And you can upload up to 25 different samples. And keep in mind that the quality is more important than quantity. Noisy samples may get bad results. So make sure that they are in good quality. That's important. And providing more than five minutes of audio in total brings a little improvement. So the sweet spot I would probably say is to provide three to five minutes of audio. And then after you do that, just give it a description, check this checkbox here and just click add voice and then you're done. And after it gets processed, your clone voice will appear in voice lab. And same thing like before, you can just press use and they'll take you to the speech synthesis page. As you can see, that was the clone voice that I selected. And then you can type in anything here if you're using text to speech and then you can generate the audio using the clone voice. And I'll show you an example, click generate. This is how you clone your voice with instant clone voice. Now that is not a perfectly clone of my voice, but it sounds pretty decent. And if you're not satisfied with it, you can actually tweak it on the settings. I'll show you in details. So this allows you to tweak the voice based on these different settings. So the first one, we have stability. So this slider basically determines how stable the voice is and how random it is between each generation. Now, when you set this slider low, it introduces a broader emotional range for the voice. And when you set this too low, it can cause the voice to be overly random random and cause the character to speak too quickly. Now, on the other hand, if you set this too high, it can cause the voice to have a monotone voice with limited emotion. Next, we have clarity and similarity enhancement. Now, this slider dictates how closely the AI should adhere to the original voice when it attempts to replicate it. If the original voice is of full quality, for example, and when this slider is set too high, the AI may reproduce the same background noise when it tries to mimic the voice. So that's why it's important to make sure that it's free of any uh, background noise if possible with the voice that you upload. The next one we have style exaggeration. So this setting attempts to amplify the style of the original speaker. In general, it is recommended that you keep this setting at zero at all times. Next, I'll talk about the different models that we could choose from. So generally speaking, the multilingual V2 model is better than the multilingual V1 model. The V2 model is more accurate. It covers more languages. It sounds more natural and is more stable. So the V2 definitely is better than the V1. Now the English V1 model is great for audiobooks, but it's less suitable for general conversational speech. And then we have the Turbo V2 model, which is available in English language only, but supposedly it is quick and it works well. So definitely I would try this out if you are using the English language. Okay, so the last option is the professional voice cloning. So this is to create a perfect digital replica of your voice. So when you click on this, you'll see all the recommendations and requirements and needs in order to do that. The current estimated time to get this completed is about four weeks because they actually need to fine tune your voice in order to get a perfect clone. But this supposedly is the highest quality voice cloning on the market today. So uh, it's definitely worth checking out. So I'll actually go through the process and I will do a separate dedicated video in order order to uh, show you guys the exact process of doing so and also the results when it's done. So, you know, definitely pay attention to the next video that I'll post and I'll definitely keep you updated. All right, before we wrap up, let me share some pro tips with you so you can make the most out of 11 labs. So number one, experiment with different voices. Don't limit yourself. Try out various voices to find the perfect fit for your content. Number two, fine tune your settings. Spend some time tweaking the settings to get the voice exactly how you want it. The more you play around with it, the better you'll become. And lastly, combine with other audio tools. You can mix and match 11 Labs with other audio editing tools to create a truly unique sound for yourself. So those will be my three tips to you in using 11 Labs. And there you have it, guys. That was our deep dive into 11 Labs. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And also let me know what tutorials you want to see next. And I'll catch you in the next one.